Hi everybody! Welcome back to my channel. I am continuing the spring feelings today, even though the first day of spring isn't for another week or more. <laughs> but again, it is spring in my soul, and I recently got a package in from Nude Sticks with their latest palette, the Heaven and Earth palette, and it is just filled with so many fun spring pastel -y colors. I wanted to play with it today and I thought, listen, we have had failed lavender makeup looks in the past, but today I thought maybe I would do a little bit of a blue pastel-y fun. Let's just play with some color. Let's get the spring feelings out there vibing, putting hope into the universe for a brighter, happier year ahead of us, my friends. So that's the plan for today. Let's play with some pastel-y glowy spring things. Perfect. Okay, let's zoom you in and play with some makeup. I got Invisalign this week and, and she shaved my teeth down in between so that they can have room to, I don't know, anyway. I want to do a really lovely glowy base as usual. I never not want to do a glowy base, but you know, kicking it off with more glow for spring. Let's start with the NYX Pore Filler. Can we show this? It is truly like pus coming out of a zit, this thing. It is hysterical. I used this for a little bit and then I was trying the marshmallow primer and then I was trying those Lancome and Maybelline sticks, what have you, and I kind of just forgot what this was like. But in my memory, this one was kind of my favorite for the pores of the bunch. So because we're gonna do a really glowy makeup, I definitely want to make sure that the pores are attended to here. So I'm just pressing that in to start. Just right here around my nose, on my nose, where I get a lot of, a lot of big, mean, bad pores. And I like that this one blurs really nicely too. I just hate that feeling, the feeling of the actual product itself. But yeah, it really just, whoop, fills it in, smooths it out. My lacquers are just on another level right now. We've just been falling off the wagon with the, with the masking routine, y'all. So let's just, let's just fill it with zit, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take the Auric Glow Lust and I'm just gonna actually pump that into my hand. A few people have asked why I've been pumping things into the palm of my hand and honestly, I don't know exactly when it started, but I think that after my little, you know, hand burns incident, my hands just became so much more dry and like wrinkly and any products like this would be totally fine or foundation would for the most part be fine. But I used to always swatch on the back of my hand and ever since the burn, I found it a lot harder to wash my hands of product after. Like the product would kind of just linger and hang out there. And I can't remember why I just decided to do that one day. I'm sure I saw it somewhere. But the palm of your hand is like so much warmer and if you're like swatching lipsticks or something or a really pigmented foundation or concealer, it's actually just a lot easier to wash it off of the palm of your hand versus the back, or so I found. The back of my hand's just a lot more dry and wrinkly. The back of my hand is ridiculous. I took my beauty blender and I just put a little bit of the auric right at the tops of the cheekbones. It's very, very glowy. So this makes a really nice, natural, glow-giving skin under skinning. What? Anyway, I have some excess left in the palm of my hand, so I'm gonna take my MAC Face and Body Foundation. This one is in the shade C2, and I'm just gonna pour that into the rest of the glow lust there. Make sure the lids put on that is gonna spill everywhere. I always forget how yellow this foundation is. It is very, very yellow. Just giving that a little mix in my natural palette. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna dot the foundation on to my face with my finger. And then blend that in with the beauty blender. Lately, I've really been forgetting about how much I love to mix base products. Like, you know, when you mix a foundation with a face oil or you mix three things together, like a glowing product, an oil, and then your foundation, and you just make these magical, magical mixtures. And I don't know why I ever stop. Like, why have I not been having a face oil mixed in with my foundation? Like, I'm doing this mixture right now, and I'm like, why don't I always do this? Why don't I do this every day? I'm sure it's out of pure, pure laziness that I'm not mixing a ton of products together, but sometimes when I do another mixture, I'm like, ha, I need to revamp my concoctions, my friends. Truly, I love, love these two mixed together. MAC Face and Body truly mixes in well with anything, anything. It is such a versatile product. And I heard, <sighs> I'm not sure if this is confirmed, but a little birdie told me that 
MAC face and body as we know it will no longer exist. Apparently they're reformulating, maybe renaming. This is tragic, devastating news. I feel like all of the products that I know and love are disappearing around me. Now I know how Sam feels. I understand this devastation. Why? Why would you fix something that is perfection? I don't understand. Although I am speaking too soon. I pray that my little birdie was incorrect. Okay, I recently picked up a new Maybelline Instant Age Rewind, but now that I'm looking at it, it might be super, super light. This is shade 100 Ivory, but I hadn't used this product in a very long time and wanted to be... <clears throat> I wanted to be reacquainted. It'd been a long time since I had dabbled in the life of this darling little concealer product. So I'm gonna start with under the eyes because it is so much brighter. I'm gonna take Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and use this. Oh, that's really dark. Oops, oops, oops. That's fine. And I'm gonna use this on the rest of my face, like around my zits and all my cheeks, all of these blue veins here and around my nose. And let's blend again with the beauty sponge. Ooh, I kind of like <laughs> those two concealers blended there. It reminds me of like, oh, this is super random. This is super random and someone's gonna be like, absolutely not, are you insane? But one of the wormholes that I often fall into on TikTok are the cake decorating videos. Oh my word, once I start watching those, I cannot stop. And for some reason, these two <laughs> Concealers just beautifully blending together so easily just reminded me of like, I don't know, those videos when they just, just spin it around with the little spatula and all the colors on the icing just magically before your eyes blend together. Love the cake world on TikTok, absolutely. Cake decorating, what an art. <laughs> what an art. <laughs> blending out this concealer. Um, as I've been blending this out, I just realized something really funny and you know what? I love to expose my myself to you guys. So let's just go ahead and, and be honest. Um, you guys know, okay? It's not new news here that I shave my face and there's, sorry, there's a hair tickling here somewhere and I can't, I can't get it. Speaking of shaving. Uh, this is not a good thing to admit, certainly, but there are two ways I shave my face. I have my actual Sephora like face razor that I keep at the sink in my bathroom. And then I have my like body razor, my Gillette men's razor that I use in the shower. And it's just like common practice for me whenever I change the razor blades to a fresh one. When I'm in the shower and I've opened that new fresh blade, I will just go in and shave my face. And I kind of just like watch the mirror from afar in the shower and do it. I know, crazy, crazy. And it would appear as though I have shaved my side <laughs> Oh my god, I was just blending out the concealer and I'm like, wait a second, that doesn't look right. Oh my god, like, this is normal. Normal sideburn. Um, yeah, cool. All right, so don't try that at home, kids. Use a mirror nice and up close when you're shaving. <laughs> okay, so before we do anything else on the face, I'm gonna take the Urban Decay All Nighter Ultra Glow Setting Spray and just test spray. Whoop. I'm gonna spray that on and let it soak into the skin while we move on to the eyes. And then if we make any mistakes, I won't have like set it in with powder. I can always go in with another layer of concealer if need be, if anything goes awry. And we're just letting the skin products soak into the face while we do the eyes. So let's pull out ah, the Nude Sticks Heaven and Earth palette. This is not a sponsored portion with Nude Sticks. However, I do have a discount code that you can use on the Nude Sticks website. When you shop, use the code Alana to save some moolah on your purchase. I wanted to read this. I wanted to get this right because it's actually a really great initiative from Nude Sticks. So the Heaven and Earth palette it's not out quite yet at the time this video is going live, but you can sign up to the waitlist to be notified when it comes out. Now, first of all, the bag itself is made out of 100% post-recycled plastic bottles, which is really exciting. It's so cute. The colors, like, are we getting hints of the colors that lie inside? And with the Heaven and Earth palette, Nude Sticks has teamed up with the Canopy Project, and they're doing it so that any piece of content 
created with the heaven and earth palette, they're going to plant a tree. So whenever you post something online, if you post a story or a photo using some of the products from the heaven and earth palette and you use the hashtag go nude and save the earth then for each of those hashtags used they will plant a tree and then they're also doing an earth day initiative on april 22nd um any units sold they'll be planting a tree as well i think it's really great just a fun little extra initiative that is coming with their latest launch which i think is really beautiful and in the pouch comes Six products, six products here. I am most interested in the shiny pastelis here, which I'm going to show you. There's Oceania and, and Lilac Sky. Oh my God, the eye colors. Let me give them a swatch for you really quick. This is what inspired this entire video. This is what made me want to do a fun, colorful look. Ah! I just swatched them there for you. Look how beautiful those are. Oh my God, I like that they're bright, they're colorful but they're a nice light pastel. They're a little bit more subdued, which makes them a little bit more wearable and fun, which I love. Um, there's a new nudie in here. This is Bohemian Rose. I haven't given this a swatch yet. Look at that. Look at that beautiful. Oh my goodness. There's two magnetic plush paints in here. So this is Sunset Peach and Love Cloud. Ooh. Oh, sorry. And then there's another eye color. <laughs> oh, that's cool. What a unique shade. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, this is the shade weed it's kind of like a bluey gray green teal gunmetal i don't know how you would describe that okay so those are all of the products that come in the heaven and earth palette and i was just really excited to play with these they just made me feel so springy and i was really stoked to get that in the mail so wanted to give you guys a good little look and let's play with some color i want to try using the oceania i can't oceania oceania and let's just dive right in and give it a go. I'm going to apply this all over the eye. And I'm kind of unsure of what shape I want to take this in. I think I'm just gonna start by putting it all over. And I think with my eyes, like I always prefer a little bit of a something winged out shape. Like I don't really like um, the perfectly round. However, I'm absolutely taking inspo from this Lily Collins, which is not, it's not really minty. This is definitely more more of actually is this is this lavender anyway i love this shape and i love how light the rest of the makeup is i kind of wanted to like match that little vibe here today i'm this is i fully thought that was blue am i colorblind like now that i'm putting it on it's completely lavender is this lavender what are you guys seeing <laughs> I totally thought it was a blue color. I was literally saying to Dan, like, oh my God, I'm gonna go film a blue look. Anyway, I'm just gonna like soften, soften those edges a little bit. I'm just really lightly like running the brush along the edges, kind of trying to diffuse it out a little bit like that. Ooh, that's fun. <gasps> Fun. I love these just like one swipe wonder shadows. Like even if you're doing a fun, colorful look, I love it when it's just bloop, <laughs> done. <laughs> so Dan, is this blue or purple to you? Definitely purple. Purple, right? I totally thought it was blue. Confirmation from Dan, people. Okay, I'm just taking another little little layer on top. I think I'm gonna stop it there, honestly. We might do inner corner highlight later, but for now I'm gonna leave it here. I love how easy that was. That literally took five seconds, that was great. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with the Bohemian Rose and I kinda wanna take this on the palm of my hand as well, just to be safe. And I'm gonna use the butt, the butt of my beauty blender. And I'm gonna apply this on the cheeks. I want something really light, but I kind of like this lovely lovely shade of pink and i want to make sure i don't go too overboard because the focus well see that is pretty pigmented still but the focus should be on the eyes mostly i'm going to take this all over the cheeks and kind of like bring it up and see how we feel and then once we're done like blending this out and finessing it then we can go in and set with powder and set everything in i'm going to dot a little bit across the nose too lately lately when i've been doing my makeup I've actually been, like, I'll do my face a little bit and then I'll do my lips because I feel like until my lips are done, like, depending on my skin day, if my brows are done and my skin is, you know, messed with, like, I could do my makeup 
and kind of forget about mascara, but like my lips, <laughs> because like foundation and concealer and whatnot gets on them. Like when those are just sitting undone, sometimes it's hard to get a glimpse of what the finished look is gonna look like, you know what I mean? So I'm going to take my KKW Beauty. Oh, there's a little fuzzy on that too. They're everywhere today, popping out everywhere. I'm gonna go ahead and just give my lips some shape while we're here. This is in the shade Nude 1.5. I'm just like pushing the, the lip liner into my lip as we apply it and it's giving it a little bit more of a lived in feel, less of a lined feel on the lips. And then just the remnant blush on the palm of my hand, I'm just gonna dip my finger into it and just push that into my lips as well. Mm. I think we gotta go directly in with the bullet. Yeah, there we go. Okay, let's powder this business. I'm gonna take my Charlotte Tilbury airbrush, flawless finish powder, just loading this up on a Refer 19 brush. I used this in a recent video and a lot of people are asking about this brush. I was like, oh my God, I'm sorry, it's the Refer 19 brush. It's a great, great little powder brush. It's not little, it's bigger for sure. I could be more precise with the placement of this powder, but I actually wanna put quite a bit of powder around here, so I'm not too worried. So I'm leaving the cheeks really glowy and just powdering right in the center of my face, just where I want that shine to be diminished. Then I'm gonna bronze up and chisel a bit. I'm gonna take this Quo Beauty bronzing powder in the shade Cool Contour 25. I'm gonna take my Refer 05 brush and just use that to warm up the cheeks. Do the hairline on my forehead, just bouncing that around. Bouncing around, bouncing around, bouncing on the jawline. Okay, and then just taking a smaller brush and putting some of that on the nose as well. I'm gonna take a little bit of this bronzer just on the lower lash line as well. I always just feel like it's a little bit naked under there without something, something, something. Yeah, like even that just makes it look a little bit more lived in. Okay, and then I'm gonna take this Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder. This one's in the shade Golden Flower Crown. I'm just gonna use that to hit the high points a little bit more. Right on the tip of the nose. And then let's go in with some mascara. This is the Marc Jacobs at Lashed Mascara. I think this look needs a little bit, a little bit of lash love on the lower lashes too. Just take my finger and run it along the tips. And once you have finished fiddling with the mascara, it's everything for this makeup look, so springy. All right guys, this is everything for this makeup look. I'm actually really, really, I'm vibing with how this makeup look has turned out. It is so fresh and bright for spring, yet it's not over the top with the color. And if you didn't feel like doing a pop of color on the eyes, this whole base situation, like, yes, I absolutely love how this makeup look turned out. And I wanna hear from you guys in the comments down below. First of all, actually, if you end up recreating this look or do something similar, I definitely wanna see it. Tag me at Alanarema on Instagram. I wanna see your guys' looks. And also please do let me know if there are any looks in particular that you want me to recreate. I would absolutely love to have some inspo photos sent my way. So feel free to send me a message on Instagram or just pop a link to a look in the comments below as well. I would love to see, love to creep, need some inspo to follow in my day. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it and had some fun playing with some color with me here today. Thank you so much as always for watching you guys and I'll see you all very soon for a new video. Bye.